Arsenal versus Sheffield United. You're not going to get rich betting Arsenal at minus one, uh, 850. Sheffield United at plus 1900. Draw plus 800. Sheffield United, do they score? Because Arsenal don't keep many clean sheets. You're going to get plus 110 for Sheffield United to score at the Emirates. Arsenal have got to give up two and a half goals at minus 102. Remember, they were at Stamford Bridge last Sunday. Then they had to travel to southern Spain to play Sevilla. They, listen, they scored two goals in each game. But is this a game, Marco, here, where you've got to be a little bit careful? We say Arsenal win, but how do you then turn that into value and getting paid? Yeah, it's, it's difficult. Um, I'm taking a parlay route this week on the Premier League, and this will be the first leg of uh, a treble, actually. Three legs okay. in the Premier League, all following a very similar route. And I'll be backing Arsenal to win this match, obviously, and over 1.5 goals. Um, basically backing Arsenal to win by any goals, any correct score that's not 1-0. Um, so obviously they beat Man City before the international break at the Emirates and their home record uh, in the league since the beginning of last season now reads 17 wins from 24. They scored twice or more in 19 of those fixtures and they've averaged 2.63 goals per game at home. Now when they've hosted promoted sides at the Emirates, go back to 2010, their record reads 31 wins from 36 and long-term watchers, listeners of this show will know about our penchant for kind of backing Arsenal when odds on or minus money at home to bottom half teams. It is a cash cow, basically, that goes back and extends well beyond, beyond uh, Mikel Arteta's reign. Um, Arsenal just tend to be flat-track bullies at home uh, against the, the lesser lights of the Premier League. So I think it's uh, <laughs> yes, not asking for a lot for Arsenal to win this game and score two goals. Uh, for Sheffield United, clearly there are concerns um, all over the field, really. I, I thought they were competitive at Manchester United last weekend. Maybe a little bit unfortunate to lose that game. But unfortunately for them, it comes down to, to Premier League quality, which they just don't have at the minute. And they're winless. They've equaled their, their worst ever start or the worst ever start to a, a Premier League season. Just one point on the board. And they're conceding goals, conceding chances far too regularly. They've conceded twice or more in each of their last eight Premier League games. They've also allowed at least 20 shots in four of the last five matches as well. And you just can't really afford to do that against a team like Arsenal. They will make you pay at some stage. Uh, I thought they were really impressive, actually, away at Sevilla uh, on Tuesday night. Um, yeah. That looked like a bit of a, a bogey game, really, but uh, they, they were fantastic. And Gabriel Jesus, in particular, was was a really standout star of that fi fixture. So eager to see if he'll be fit and available for this weekend after going off with what appeared like a knock. But even still, without him, they've got enough firepower to, to trouble the blades and score a couple of goals. Yeah, the number that jumps off that page, though, Brad, is Sheffield United to score at plus 110. Everybody scored against Arsenal. Uh, it doesn't mean Arsenal are not going to win comfortably, but from set pieces, from like putting the ball in the box, from getting VAR. Listen, we're talking about I'm me sitting here saying, oh, yeah, Arsenal win to nil. Fulham not to score. 25 seconds into the game, me bet was in the bin. <laughs> you say everyone scores on Arsenal, especially at the Emirates. And I just remember holding tickets, goal-focused tickets, for when they played Manchester City, and it was a 1-0 win for them. Uh, so I just have a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth from that match. But, um, man, I, it's just so hard, right, to want to back uh, Sheffield United to score a goal. Uh, they're only averaging, what, 0 0.78 goals per contest. Um, their XG kind of aligns with that, too. When they score, uh, they're, we talk about this week in and week out. They're wonder goals. They did play really good and really well against Manchester United. Um, and I feel kind of fortunate to have won my Manchester United ticket and over two and a half goals. But once again, uh, them conceding goals kind of reared its ugly head. The price is OK, but this just feels like one of those Arsenal matches where they finally can breathe and relax. Their month of October has been a gauntlet. They played away at Lance for their uh, Champions League. They played, they hosted City, then played in Stamford Bridge, and then went to Sevilla and played in Spain. Like those, now they finally back to the Emirates against a newly promoted side who they should absolutely thrash. It's one of those matches where it, I think if Sheffield United score, it's a drop on quality because Arsenal have taken their foot off the gas or they've gotten complacent. Um, so for me, it's it, it's a coin flip. So you're probably getting about 5%, um, maybe, maybe 3%, I'd say, if we want to be uh, more accurate, 3% uh, um, value there. But that's not enough for me to, to dive in. Uh, so I, I pass on this game, but I would not be shocked to see Arsenal score three goals in this easily. Um, this is one of those matches where 
you invite your fans in um, and, and, and you have a little bit of a celebration. Like we haven't played uh, a lot of matches here this month at home. Now you get one uh, against a bottom club that we should absolutely thrash. I think we've got to pay uh, close attention to the numbers because if you think Sheffield United are going to score, there's plus 110. But also, if you think Sheffield United are going to score, then you're going to be saying that Arsenal have got to score four to not cash the minus 118 of Sheffield United plus two and a half. So don't... Don't complicate this. If you think that Sheffield United can score, don't look anywhere else other than the plus 110 because you don't often see in any Premier League game, in many games across Europe, a team to just get a goal at plus money. You just don't see it. I mean, if, if it was minus 110, it would still look attractive. Let's have a little look at the official picks. Arsenal and over one and a half is the first leg of the parlay for the award-winning owner. 